PeachTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. How are we all going today? Hey, you have to excuse the bloody noise if you can hear the rain on the roof of the shed. It's absolutely persisting down here today, mate. Absolutely persisting down. Anyway, Pete had nothing better to do, so he thought he'd better come in the shed, talk a load of bullshit to you guys. Yeah! Anyway, guys, what I'm going on about today is PT31 Plasma Torch. Have you ever had trouble when you brought your consumables that they don't bloody fit properly? I had a real bad run with them oh, probably six or nine months ago, and I got a little solution to fix it if you're having the same issue as me. I don't know if you are or not. It might just be me. It might have just got a bad batch. Who would know? Anyway, guys, that's what the video is about today. How to fix your consumables that don't fit in your torch properly. Same as usual, guys. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? Yeah. So don't have you anything like me, guys. Have you ever noticed when you get these PT31 consumables, sometimes they don't bloody fit properly? Because they're really, really loose in your torch, like so. And I've actually had some where I put the new consumables in, and then I go to put the ceramic on the top, and it doesn't even tighten up the nozzle. The nozzle's still loose, and I can't even get any more out of this. So I don't know if it was a bad batch that I got or what the hell it was, but it certainly annoyed the crap out of me. Because what it does, if your consumables are not tight like this, guys, it does this. If we have a look in here, guys, it'll actually destroy your um, plasma torch. So I don't know if you can see in there or not, guys, but this here is all sort of chipped out and it's burned out. The plasma consumables have been vibrating in it. Like, they go in like this, and if it's not tight enough, they just vibrate and vibrate and vibrate. And when they vibrate, it just takes great big chunks out of your copper holder thing here. Here, I'll see if I can get any closer. Can you see that, guys? There's a whole lot of big chunks taken out of here. It's sort of burned the crap out of it. And that is because it's loose and it's vibrating in the torch head. And sometimes I think it's because I forget to tighten it up properly. So I'll show you a little hack, guys. Once your torch head starts to look like this, because it's been loose, I'll show you a little hack to fix it. So what I did, guys, is I went and brought myself a little bag of washers like so. So I just copper, and they're exactly the same size as the diameter of this electrode. So if we grab one of these things, it's a bit of a mission trying to get them exactly the right size, but I found them eventually. They're only little baby things like that, guys. So what you've got to do is stick your consumable in like normal, but you see how it's slopping around there because it's burned out the bottom of the uh, torch. And then grab your little copper washer, stick it over the top of your consumable so it goes over the first notch of your consumable. Here, I'll show you. See, I put the washer here, guys. It just slides over the top of the consumable. And then we do exactly the same as what we normally do. We put the swirl ring on top of it like so. And then we put the cutting tip on top of it like so. And what that does is it packs it all up. And then it gives us a whole lot more leverage to tighten up this ceramic cap. So if we do that, a whole lot more leverage. There we go. We can really tighten the shit out of it now. And it's as tight as. So therefore it won't vibrate when we're cutting. Because I reckon that when they manufacture these things, there's only maybe two or three mil difference between manufacturers. And that three mil can make all the difference where it doesn't bloody tighten up in your torch. So I know what you're going to say now, guys. You're going to say, because I put that washer in there, the bloody thing's not going to cut. Ah, it does. Watch. No problemo whatsoever. Yeah. Beautiful. Hee hee. And have a look, guys. The washer's still in here. Bumpy dumpy. Take the washer out. Got our cutting tips. Got our ceramic swirl ring. Get off there. Oh, it's cold here today, guys. Cold and wet. Ceramic swirl ring off. Got our little washer here, guys. Oops, drop the swirl ring. Good on you, Pete. A little washer. So it does work. It works perfectly fine. And you can also, guys, you can do it the other way around. You can put the washer. Like I say, they're really... Oh man, I'm losing all my shit today, guys. <laughs> you can put the washer actually in the torch too if you want to. Here we go again. My God, I just broke that ceramic. <laughs> too cold to be out here, I think, guys. 
You can actually put the washer inside the torch as well to pack it up a bit, but I find it easier to put it on top of the electrode. The only thing you don't want to do is get too big a washer and stick it on top of the gun here because it won't bloody work. Trust me, I've tried it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was my video for the day. If you're having trouble like me with the old PT31 torch and your bloody consumables won't fit properly, just bang a little washer on the top of it. But just make sure, guys, like I said, it's the right bloody size. Don't put it on the outside of your torch. Make sure it goes in the inside of your torch. So you've got to get one basically the right size, guys. Anyway, that's enough bullshit from me today. It's bloody cold out here. I'm going to go inside and light the fire or do something. I've got to get out of this cold and wet. And same as usual, guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Oh, <laughs> before I forget, guys, if you want to learn some secret tips on how not to burn out your bloody plasma cutter consumables, check up here, and I'll put a link for you. You can have a look at that video, and it might save you some money. Anyway, guys. See ya, it's bloody cold, I'm going inside. Bye. Peachtools.com.